that will actually auto GI further up follow up attacks. So it's like completely the opposite of Astaroth, where oh. he's really good against strings, but his armor loses to Lowe's, just straight up. Lowe's, his armor does not work against Lowe's. And I believe, uh, no, just low grabs. I thought grabs too. Yes, and grabs, yeah. Grabs, okay. Uh, grabs, you know, yeah, gra grabs, uh, grabs beat armor for sure. Um, but uh, he, Nightmare also has his critical edge like is an armor move also. It's kind of like a counter super oh, where yeah. he wants to use it when he thinks you're going to attack so that it armors it, you get GI'd, and then he does his counter attack that does a million damage and looks so rad. The oh Dark Knight riding gosh. in on the horse, on the Nightmare, they're riding in on the Nightmare. And so, Talim's just going to be doing her million string things. She might get completely stuck and that bubble will burst and it might all be over. Yeah, well, it's going to be interesting to see how Zeo navigates around that Nightmare yeah. armor. Nightmare is not a fast character. Because at the same time, yeah, Zeo could be getting a ton of punishes in. That is just like, that's just the frames. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's interesting because Talim is a fast string-based character. Yeah. And Nightmare's armor is specifically good against strings. Yeah. So we'll see what Zeo... It's a little scary for Zeo, not yeah. gonna lie. But you know, I think by this point, everyone knows the Nightmare matchup, because if yeah. you don't know that matchup, you will get run over by the end train. So Absolutely. let's see what tech he's got in store for Mika. I think with a little patience probably will go a long way. And it is worth it to note that Mika is a pretty reserved Nightmare player. Um, as far as the range of Nightmare players goes, mm -hmm. uh, she's a little bit uh, safe. And so that might play into uh, Zio's hand, uh, giving him a little bit more time to think about the approach. Yeah, that sounds like a really good game plan for Nightmare here, trying to uh, maintain that space, play the neutral. Nightmare's backstep is really good. You know, backstep 3B punish is, is, can be really powerful against a short range character like Tala. <laughs> Here we go. Talon starts off go. with that, with the, uh, but here we go. The end train is getting started with the stance game. Careful. Slow and careful and does still not, in this. Does not get the ring out there, but here comes Talon. And Mika's going to need to make a read to get out of this offense. Breaks the grab, but gets hit by the second hit of that string. Yeah. Battle two. All right, that one went by quick. Here we go. Now we're seeing Mika use some armor moves that put a great step oh, in Zio. You do have to have some good patience when fighting Talon. Absolutely. Not be trying to mash in during those strings. Yeah, because yep. she will counter hit you. Yeah, to know right where to get in. Oh, the grab <laughs> just out of range. And there we see it. There's the armor right there. Oh, and the drill ends the round. And when Nightmare successfully armors a move and does that explosion, he goes into Terror Charge, which is like Soul Charge, but just for one hit. But Nightmare's Terror Charge does so much damage if he hits you with the 6B, for example, the Drill Sword. It's terrifying. I'm terrified. Okay, do, maybe I'm not. <laughs> uh, Zio's doing a great job here, actually, of stepping around Nightmare's vertical pressure. Yeah, which is like, you have to be very careful to do that, because... Like I said, it'll just let loose those AGAs and just punish you for stepping so quickly. Yeah, yeah. Getting hit by those. There it is. That's oh, the AGA yeah. right there. Got him. And here we go. Bubble. Let's see what Mika does with the initiative. Zio manages to claw it back. Getting a little close to the edge. Oh. Mika nice in the corner. Charge. Yes. That was a good soul charge there. Classic, Ooh. you backed me into a corner, and now I'll soul charge and bubble. Talon's in the gut. This is oh my. so, so scary for Talon oh here. My. But here Zio comes. Don't get schmixed. Oh! He goes for the mid. Schmixed. <laughs> the <laughs> mid. <laughs> That is the tough. That is such a tough situation when you got a sliver of HP left and you're on the ground versus an opponent. You just gotta guess for your life. Are they going low or are they going mid? Oh god. Yeah, you just gotta Battle guess right. One. It all goes back to that. Right back into round two. Ooh. Oh my. Oh, that that's really interesting. Zio's trying to space that that kind of long range punish attack from Tom. Wow. I believe she gets a lethal hit if she punishes with that. 
Oh, oh isn't able to get the, the follow-up to that combo. She's just too short. She ducked it or tech crouch or something happened. Mika's, on, Mika's doing real well with those 4 KKs. Let's see if, if she can make the most of this terror charge here. You sit for... It's so hard for Nightmare to enforce his frames against Kala in that situation. He's just so slow. Uh, yeah, exactly. He has to kind of give it that respect. And, and then that just gives you time to freeze up and... There's oh that terror charge 6B. Say goodbye to almost half of your health. Here, here comes Mika. Here comes Nightmare. Get ready to be drowned in darkness. Look at that chip. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? My Reversal edge? Reversal. Going for a ride. <laughs> Reversal edge, not the greatest option, unless I'm mistaken against Nightmare. Because he has so many breaks, right? He'll just like, break you right out of it, it seems. Yeah, it's tough. Nightmare's reversal edge is actually quite scary as well. He's got a lot of high damage options. I guess uh, maybe Zio was thinking to cancel back out of it and do a little tricky something. Yeah, that was probably what he was going for, the, the sidestep out of the reversal edge. A little column. tricky sidestep, a little tricky grab, but it didn't happen. Oh, that was a good staying on the ground for Mika. Oh, but the Zio sidesteps the 6B. Oh and you just goodness. cannot get away from the pressure as Nightmare. All right, Mika's going to need to make make some adjustments here. Block for block. Oh, oh that is so unfortunate for Mika. They did a sidestepping move, but got clipped by the... Uh, Luckily for them, it was a trade. Wow, committed to the reversal edge. And, <laughs> and the, the K comes out. Your oh, soul. No. Both with full butters here. An oh, absolute yeah. despicably bad use of meter. That, that, was, that was the AGA that you were talking about. And, and look at this. Here comes the end train. The seven golden letters. And that is it for this round for Zio. So that is one for one? Yeah, yeah, it's one oh one. And, and it all started it all started when Zio tried to reverse a ledge and got AGA'd. Yeah, right? that you're going to get AGA. That break attack AGA, and it went right into that terror charge offense for Nightmare. And, you know, a couple wrong guesses, and your oh, HP is one. gone. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She thinks she's going to step around and dance around, and Nightmare's just not going to have none of that at a certain point. Yeah, Nightmare really has to rely on the armor moves in this matchup. Here we go, back into the terror charge. The 1A charge. Oh, my goodness. And it's like... Zio block and everything, but all that chip damage Ooh. just eats away. Mika's starting to use that 2-2-B. Two -two starting to, to place that 2-2-B two -two really well. I love to see the aggression. I really do. Yeah. It's really paying off right now. Because mm -hmm. just being backed into the corner and schmixed was not working at yeah. all. <laughs> you really don't want to get on your back foot against Talon as Nightmare. You have to Absolutely. make a read to get away from her. All right, here we go. Against the wall, what is Mika going to do to get out of this? It's time to bubble. Time to do something. Oh, oh, the grab break was so good. Oh, and the wall splat. Here we go with a terror charge. Oh, and Mika just gets a little too, a little too uh, eager okay. to swing there. Not quite over yet. We'll see if Mika oh, can make this bar spend pay off here. Getting a Get lot that of guard damage. So <laughs> look at that bar flashing <laughs> red. You can block all you want. If it's not going to help. Is this going to break? Yeah. And, and Zio's broken. Can Mika turn this into. Can Mika steal this round? Sadly, oh. that, that could have been more, but the excitement from uh, finally getting that guard crush sometimes just. You get wrapped up and you don't know what to do. And, and you know, I, I think that was so good for Mika, because if Mika had taken that round, that puts you in such a good position, both in terms of like the, the, the match and mental state. But here we go, Talon is rushing down. Oh, you yeah. cannot get away. The back turned hop. More seven golden letters. Absolutely horrifying. Zio just runs, runs over. <laughs> And just hits hits a button a little too early against that Talon string. Good soul charge to get out of the pressure there. Let's see what Mika can do with it. 
hopefully a ring out. Oh! oh! You said it! You, you said it and it happened! That stance B coming right up. That was such a weird looking ring out too. I think Zio must have done an airborne move and just got, <laughs> got that that fence deceptively makes you feel safe. Yeah. That is not a safe fence, you guys. He got spiked. <laughs> oh, that does Lethal. not work. That does not work against Talon. He is such a dangerous character to reverse ledge because of that sidestep. Oh, here we go. Yeah. The soul charge again for Mika. That was what that was what worked for her last time. Oh, but Talon my gets the step the punish. Oh, now we're back to neutral. Oh, oh Zio tries goodness. to do some tricky stuff. Doesn't work out. Oh, oh, this might be it here. No. Oh, oh, the little kick finishes it off. That was a great set. That the was, little that was, kick that could. Yeah, that, that was super <laughs> close at the end. Oh, my goodness. Uh, not... Uh, very a very close match honestly yeah. a very very tense match uh not done badly by either person that really could have been anyone's there in the end yeah that got super close at the end there especially when mika really took charge got that ring out you yes. know and then it was really inspiring but you know it's just two vastly different characters really yeah and zio was just able to pin pin mika down with that suffocating talum that pressure stance offense it's so hard to try to punish her because she can sidestep out of so many setups constantly and it just gets you mentally absolutely frozen where you're not able to uh take the initiative to choose what you're going to do because you're just constantly on the defense of yeah. this little little girl who can do anything. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, Soul Calibur is definitely a game where you can, if you get like, you're constantly having to make reads and kind of guesses. You know, it's a it's a game where you can't block everything, you know, mids and lows. You have to take risks. Yeah, it, it's it's very much a game that that uh, rewards active defense. Stepping your, your opponent's verticals, ducking their highs. Absolutely. GIing using whatever your character